One final crack at this one. One final crack at crackle, you could say, for these two sides. Las Hagiorasas have made history. They are Madrid bound and they've never been better. Can they head there off the back of a win? Czechia poised to receive this one. Certainly hope not. Gonzalez will kick us off and it's right down the throat of an awaiting chess browner over. The Harlequin, the Richmond FC athlete. And pinned deep in their own territory and now grappling with a Michaela Palera who's not as many minutes as some of her Argentine teammates, so it looks fresh and full of fizz. Oh, Czechia, but they played their way into Argentina's half brilliantly. And now here is Aneska Skalova, the debutant. She can't find her mark with that pass. So possession changes hands, but Argentina now playing from deep. Talked a lot about her effort in attack, Maria Braguido Camoro, but the scrum half pretty potent in defence too, and she used the touchline to brilliant effect there. Line out not straight, despite Jimena Matas getting her hands to it. So it's worked out all right in the end for Czechia. They'll have the puss in here. A bit Chalupa's side. Thwarted by Poland in that all-European quarter-final a little bit earlier on, an almost identical score. To the line, Argentina found themselves on the wrong side of it's the Lionesses who downed the Jaguars in that all big cat clash. Six. Defending here, blue and white packing down against red and blue as Dola Shalova sends it wide. And now the switch play comes into effect. It was tricky to deal with, but dealt with really well. But it's the next pass that comes unstuck for Czechia. And just look, a pack of Jaguars. Hunting down Doleshil over there inside the 22. Browner over somehow fishes that one out and sends it across the face of the Argentine defence. Christina Plavova on a ricocheting, rocketing, barnstorming run will open the scoring for Czechia. What a try for the 32 year old. She would not be stopped. Kicks on the mark for Dolezhalova, who had several involvements in the build-up to that score. The 20-year-old looking so to the manor born. And with 41 points to her name already here in Krakow. Look at that. Taking names. Rattling ribs. Fine, fine work from Plavova. She is five foot ten. She's a proper physical presence, and she made every inch of that felt there. Well, it's over to one of Argentina's enforcers, Palero, carrying hard the only way she knows how, as Matus finds Trigo. And now here is Palero again, working so hard to get back in formation. Hurtling from the line, Dolashilova. Makes herself felt, but not caught and not to be caught. Here sat Argentina. The chase is on. But once she's in full flight, Maria Brigido Camaro is pretty much an escapologist. You won't catch her, you won't pin her down, you won't stop her. She's got her third of the weekend, and they've all been like that. They've all been opportunistic moments of mastery. Argentina strike back immediately. It's 5 7 with the kick to come. Salas doesn't find the centre of the uprights with that. So two points the gap with three minutes remaining on this first half. But how about the tenacity of Maria Braguizo Camoro? She seems to think quicker than anyone else on the field at points. And she's got the foot speed to match. The basketball convert. Helps when your dad is a rugby coach, I suppose. Browner over. Clattered by Palero upon receiving that restart. Czechia will need to play it from the cusp of their 22. Plavova reaches 
into her arsenal and opts for another heavy thumping carry. Somehow, Aneshka Marta Sladkova managed to get that offload away two-handed from a sea of Argentine would-be tacklers, and the ball stays alive for Czechia. It's back with Sladkova. Weaving, poking, probing. Now Tessarova on the spin lifts that one up onto one of her support runners. Over it is Plavova, try scorer, but this time happy to send it wide. Get someone else involved. Look at the defensive hustle there from Jimena Matas. Piling pressure on Czechia, whose tails are up. They are bang up for this one. Plavova driven backwards. Argentina defending valiantly here, though. There aren't many holes to be found in this blue and white wall, which forces Sladkova to send it to the skies. It's fielded and gathered, and Talia Rodic with a fend and a foot flat to the floor will score. Well, she saluted her teammates and to those watching on back home in Argentina, but really all the plaudits belong with their number 13 taking matters firmly into her own hands, only releasing them to briefly bump off a defender. A fend like a piston. And Argentina, for the first time, hit the front. Again, conversion's proving a slight issue for their skipper. She's so talismanic talismanic in the midfield but come Madrid they need to work on that kicking Rodic who has now one try short of her haul from Dubai and perhaps that salute for her daughter Yarmina watching on at home in Argentina no. We're sending these restarts deep and really troubling Czechia at the breakdown. They're back inside their own 22 and only going backwards. Branerova carries hard. Need a scrum half, so it's Beata de Tukova. Again, Argentina flying up. Hold up. They are reversing. Beepers and lights flashing and blinking away. And then with that, Las Aguares says. See a round of applause from their bench because they did force the knock on. And that brings about half time. Czechia flying from the traps. Curti of Kristina Plavova's head down, carrying, and her just refusal to be stopped on route to the whitewash, but striking back. Their achievements in Dubai or in Montevideo, Las Aguaretas, third and second. But they are intent on ensuring that their losses on the Challenger Series this year stop at three. A win here. They can claim a really impressive win ratio on the series. A series, of course, that they hope not to be contesting next year. So they are headed to Madrid. They will be in that promotion relegation playoff where the stakes are high. All eyes on that in a fortnight's time. It should be absolutely enthralling as the size that finished ninth down to 12th on the main series. Go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best four on the challenger. And it's one of those sides with the ball now. Clean receipt of the kickoff goes the way of Michaela Palero. And Argentina miscommunicating in the midfield there, gifting possession to the side in red. Gonzalez thought that pass was meant for her. But in fact, it looked to have been a skip effort. Tackle! Tackle made. So many options to the right of this breakdown, screaming for it. It's Jana Urbanova, the debutant. It's knocked on by Czechia, and for a moment, Tyler Rodic thought she was away and clear for what would have been a third score of the event. But back we come for the knock on. Argentina will feed this. Lurking in a sprinter's stance behind this pack is Maria Gerhini. She's the vice captain for the weekend, but actually it's the little switch down the short side that they play, and scampering is Brisa Trigo, the debutant who's been so eye-catching. Now this is Polero. 
gets it away to Genhini. He's been straining at the leash on the replacements bench. Introduced now and eager to make her mark as the captain spots absolute acres of open space. Look at the race there, flying up to pile all sorts of pressure on Czechia. Time off. It's Talia Rodic. We're going to have to head up and check that. If she has managed that, that is the kick chase to end all kick chases. Surely not. Oh, the kick from Gonzalez had so much on it. So too did the chase. Having a really good look at this one. That is extraordinary. Italia Rodic has got it down. She's matched the pace of Czechia's sweeper, Christine Tesarova. But it's all about what she's managed when it comes to a grounding. So we're watching them hurtle backwards in reverse. <laughs> so now it's all about who made the kick through. It was definitely the captain. We don't believe it was touched. Well, it's an opportunity for everyone to get their breath back. It's been a long a couple of days as the players watch on. Zoe, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, there is no try. Okay. The ball is grounded by red and gold. Okay. And they've and taken it back. Correct, so it's an attacking scrum. Perfect. Well, we'll Christine Tassarova, her efforts were not in vain. She has just touch. about managed that to touch that Number one down, five, but... White. The kick chase, Marcus Moneta-esque from Las Haguaretes, number 13, playing in the same number and with the foot speed to match. The hustle was undeniable. But crisis averted in Czechia with that effort. Still very much in this one, just three points in it. Time on. Crouch! Grounded by Czechia, so Argentina Five. with the put in. Here is Maria Brigido Camoro, already with a trademark Six. snipey, sneaky score to her name. Straight round the back of that one and just straying offside was Petra Vakova, which means that Argentina have the option to go quickly. Brigido Camoro takes it onto herself, finding Athul Medina, carrying hard. Oh, the Argentines knowing that they want this third score, this to potentially put this one to bed. And Jimena Matas with a celebration that speaks volumes. Hurtles over for her third in Krakow, Argentina's third in this one. And they've just taken a big step towards cementing fifth space to go with their tickets to Madrid. What a lot that meant to Jimena Matas, former captain of this team. She was skipper in 2021 when Argentina's women's side were renamed Las Haguaretas. So passionate about the move and what that rebrand stood for. All the faith being shown in them by the union, all of the ambition, the carving out of their own unique identity within those infamous legendary blue and white hoops. They really are making waves this year. Now they've got eight points worth of buffer against this spirited Czechia outfit and ball to play with. And here is Matas. The offload is dinky and full of confidence. Deft as you like, doesn't quite find the mark, the ensuing pass, but they're five metres out now, Argentina, and going hunting for a fourth. They're really feeling it now, and on an incisive line is Genghini. But he's piling in. But Czechia turn it over this time. This time, they will not be conquered on their own line. And three minutes left to turn this thing around. 
number six. Petra Vakova, 25 Set. years old, making her first appearance since Stellenbosch's Challenger Series last year. Feeds that one, and it's a scrum. Gets the best possible result because the penalty goes the way of Czechia, who are looking to play it out now through the electric Beata Ditsukova, just 17 years old. But so confident, nice so tackle. full of running, and a high tackle yep. from Las Haguareses buys another penalty. Back to back opportunities for Czechia. Doleshalova, fresh from a little sit down, is back onto the park and sending that up towards the 10 meter line. Won't have got quite the distance she'll have hoped for on that. Kova will throw, finds her mark, and then the recipient off the tail of that one. It goes through the fingertips of Ditrakova. But goodness me, Dola Shalova, she just goes and goes and goes. She has such appetite for work and such ability to carry. But just knocked on there by try scorer earlier on, Christina Plavova. Argentina's put in 90 seconds to play. If they can just manage this next period, they might well secure fifth here in Poland. <laughs> Nahuel Go! Garcia said ahead of this weekend how hard and demanding this would be. But he knew that his team had the tools to travel the demanding path of qualification for Madrid. And they have done. They've stamped their ticket. We will see them in Spain playing alongside Los Pumas in a fortnight's time. They want to finish with a flourish. And that offload, not landing in the hands of Antonella Redding, but she hoovers it up, and down the short side they go. Brigido Camoro, who has been mischievous and magical all weekend long, tries to loft it up and over onto Caldella Delgado, but it's knocked on in the process. 30 seconds remain. It's not over yet. Two matches remain here in Poland. Belgium up against Kenya next in our third place playoff. And then we decide our Krakow champions. China going toe to toe with home favorites Poland. It's a brilliant final. Script writers have been busy. The Hooter sounds. And that will be that Argentina will lock up fifth. But Czechia might well have the final say in this one. They'd love to have the final word in this. A competition where they found form that they've not yet been able to reach in 2024. Sladskovas on the short side, but it's to the open they go. There are bodies there, bodies eager for work and hustle, eager to pit themselves against the Argentines in their way. But the tackles from Las Aguaretas sewing up, stitching up this attack from Czechia. But now the door opens, the race is on. Streaking away from the defence is Vera Gartner over. She's tipped and tripped, but she's not held and over. She splashes. And Czechia will have the final say. Perhaps fittingly so, because they have found something that they've just not had available to them all season long here in Poland. They have produced their best. They can be immensely proud of what they have done. But ultimately, as Dolezhalova lines up this conversion, which sails wide, it is Argentina who finished fifth, and Argentina who we will see in Madrid. What a 12 months for Las Haguaretas, South American champions, playoffs.